You have to stop me. Oh look, spiders! Well, it's a good thing that the spiders don't actually do anything in this game. Because remember, the spiders in Penumbra were quite delicious, if you've played that game. Let's see... Alright, let's keep moving. Daniel, you've gone too far. I was things coming. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Yes. Um, okay, so those open those two doors there, but there's more things beyond here. If I remember right. If I remember right, there's no real enemies here, so there's actually nothing to be afraid of in this part of the game. But obviously when you're playing through it, you don't know that. So there's dungeons... and dungeons... blood... I think there's nothing in these rooms neither, so there's no point checking them all. But let's just make sure of that. Uh, no, nothing there. And tinder box. Like I said, there is something there, but nothing important. That's what I mean. There's also an upstairs. What's going on here? The apple? Nope, nothing useful. Why am I scared? There's nothing here. I have 66 tinder boxes, that's crazy. Obviously the game expects you to use a lot more of them than I have. Alright, pick that up. Dungeons, they're very dungeon-like, although there aren't actually that many cells if you think about it. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These are cuts volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. Hmm. Damascus Rose, he doesn't remember anything, but there's cuts on his body. That's cool. Cool story, you don't you think so? Why am I going... Okay, this was well, dark, that's why I'm going crazy. And there's also strange noises. Picked up meat. Fascinating. I have meat, guys. I have meat. Um... What's through here? I think we're not meant to come here yet. Let's just check the chancel. Some pseudo-religious names for these places based on parts of a church. The filthy thought good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Well, interesting perspective. Yeah, this part of the game. So we're not meant to be here yet. But I guess we can have a look. You can hear the enemy there. So the enemy is actually there, and we can't get past there anyway, so we're not gonna even bother looking there. Uh, Griffith did say check the chant. Oh, 
not the chanzo, the transept. This is the nave. The choir and the transept, that's what he said. I'm not entirely sure why they chose to name the parts of this place according to parts of the church. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. So, yeah, Alexander. Enjoying himself a little too much, teaching Daniel how to torture people. Uh, yes. You're a good boy, Daniel. And I appreciate your compliment. Yes, there's something else. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, this bit. We meant to get something here, but I don't think I'll do it just yet. Just cause... We're not meant to know what to do here. <laughs> you mad, bro? You mad? Anyway, let's keep moving. So, Johan... Johan Wire said that... There's something to get a gripper to come with us. We don't have to take a gripper with us. But uh, you get a better ending if you do, apparently the so-called good ending. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whoa, craziness. What was this? Was this the transept? How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare you. Cool. Prepare him. There's a body there in the cage, that's interesting. Hey bro, what's up? How you doing? Butt cheeks. How you doing? Not too good? Alright, well you, you hang out there. I'll explore this place. There's lights above the doors, that's good. Just to, sh you know highlight where you're allowed to go. I don't remember if we go up here first or go into the doors first. <laughs> Our sanity is low. So you see like that guy there, there's a skull on his face instead of a normal face. Don't know if Jesus is also a skull. These subtle things they're doing. Funny. And of course there's that. And this, I believe, is Alexander's office. Uh, let's see. There's things that don't matter. Wait a minute. I've got a handle. A crank for a machine. Do I need this? A lamp? Oil. Like, what if we didn't pick up the crank? Would that hinder our progress somehow? Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There's little I can do to redeem myself, indeed. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Okay. 
picked up string. What is that? Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans have all have the humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence, where their strength exceeds their expected powers. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. Restrain them, present them with the form of torture, and then do it. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. Hmm. Interesting. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield the maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as, as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Haha. <laughs> so if the victim is not scared enough, feed them the amnesia drink and then do it again. Hmm. Alright, more of this. Why is there the, the, the ominous sounds? Ominous sounds. I don't think there's any actual danger. Wait, bugs on my face. That means I'm losing sanity. What am I? Head is pounding and hands is shaking. I'm not losing that much sanity. Okay, we got the string. Let's keep moving. That's the first time we've seen the bug on the face. The first time I played through this game, we saw that a lot earlier in the game. Maybe I just missed it because the screen was so dark. And look at the pattern on the floor. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, fascinating. I don't remember which way first, though. Fascinating. Let's go counterclockwise. Oh, look! Pitch black corridor. You can hear a saw. Terrible. Alright, so what amazing things do we have? Well, there's a tinder box, but more importantly, a guy being sawn in half ass first. A guy being sawn in half ass first. There's a piece of orb. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The sore between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. The sore between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. Well, actually, if it's in the hip, hasn't she gone very far, has it? 
I mean, you have lost your balls. But other than that, it wouldn't have actually gone into your, you know, intestines or stomach or anything like that yet, because it's still lodged in the hip. 